Hello and welcome to Tushka Training. Today we're going to uh, get back into Hit Film 2 Ultimate and it's going to be the first in our series of uh, simple layer tricks. Uh, we're going to cover a few bits and bobs today. Uh, this was inspired by Axel's tutorial for uh, a pencil sketch kind of look. So uh, let's get on with it. We'll create a new composite shot which we will call uh, Shot Container. Oh, look at that, I actually spelt it right for a change. Um, the first thing we're going to do is drag in a piece of test footage, like so. Uh, then we're going to duplicate that test footage, first thing. And then we're going to start adding in some layer effects. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to go for a U, saturation and lightness. And we're going to go to the master and just drag the saturation right down. So we've got a black and white image. Um, and then we're going to invert that. And as you can see, so far, we're pretty close to what Axel was doing. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring a blur down onto this. Um, I'll use a diffuse for this, for this particular effect. And what we're going to do now is we're going to change the blend mode to overlay. And if you go to your uh, diffuse setup, when you move your sliders now, uh, you'll get the uh, the faux HDR effect. So you can kind of bring out a bit more definition in the image uh, as you see fit like so. Now, one thing to keep in mind here is that um, this can blow images out. It can make things look really overexposed. So it's something you have to try on a case by case level. Sometimes it'll work. Sometimes it won't. Uh, sometimes it'll blow the image out ridiculously, um, but you can also use it to get some uh, ethereal kind of looks and so on and so forth. Um, so uh, that that's one worth trying. Uh, the next thing we're going to do, uh, the next trick we'll try is we'll um, make this into a composite shot and we're going to take the effects with the layer, like so. Uh, and then we're going to drag in our test footage again underneath. Um, and we're going to get a U uh, saturation and lightness on the new piece of test footage. And we're going to desaturate that down to black and white. And we're going to change this blend mode to, uh, I believe it was color burn. No, I think it might be color dodge, actually, um, that Axel was using um, to get the uh, kind of faux... Um, pencil look like so so get yourself something where you've got a bit of usable grays and blacks we're going to change this overlay mode in the original shot container to um, multiply so it's actually multiplying with the original image like so and now the original piece of test footage we're going to use threshold like so. I'm going to change this to uh, a yellow color. Uh, this is a um, it's a, a similar sort of look that I'm going for. Is a, it's a similar sort of look to an old comic that used to be out in the UK called The Beezer in the 60s and 50s. I wasn't around at that time. Uh, I must add, but um, I did collect a lot of those comics when I was a kid, and this was a look that always I always liked. So if we uh, we overlay that look now, um, actually that's quite a nice look there if you were looking for this kind of uh, imagery. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to come back into the uh, the test shot composite that we created earlier from the original duplicate, and we're going to create a new grade layer, and then in this grade layer. We're going to add, um, you know, I think we'll go for threshold again to uh, turn that into heavy blacks, like so. And then we're going to go for uh, one of my favorites that a lot of people write off because it's uh, something they wouldn't think of as using for an layer effect uh, atomic particles. Um, 
we're going to go for uh, particle placement, number of particles. And we're going to bring this right down. I'm not actually sure of these numbers, so I'm uh, flying on the seat of my pants here. So you'll have to bear with me. We're just going to uh, guesstimate most of this, which is what you should be doing anyway when you're actually working this stuff out for yourself. Uh, particle appearance. Um, we will go for uh, bring the size random down. And we'll probably bring the size up. Somewhat. We've still got way too many there, I think. There you go. We're starting to get more of a, a, a an old 60s comic look. We could probably add a, a few extra particles in. To get the exact look we're going for. As you can see, this is a, it's, it's a kind of an old style print uh, where certain outlines were printed black um obviously this will work more or less depending on how much threshold you put into it and so on um you can also change the uh the the things that the uh, threshold will actually attach to in this particular case because i'm already on a a, a grayscale image so you actually get some more definition now as well by messing around like so um Again, this is a, a quite a nice uh, pop art look, uh, comic book kind of look. Um, depending on what you're going for, you can change the blend modes as well to get uh, different different kinds of looks going on. Um, as you can see, you can put this like dotted look into a, a plain cutout look, um, and then you can do other things as well, like uh, bring in your original test footage again, um, and this time what we'll do is we'll go for a stylized bring a cartoon onto that and open up a cartoon properties to fill we're going to bring up the brightness just to get some uh, outlines desaturate it a bit and then we can just mess with our blend modes you can add it in, in in various different ways. Uh, personally, I prefer to just go through the blend modes one by one because every now and again, you'll come up with something that just, it may be the look you're going for. Some stuff works really good for uh, music videos and so on. Um, anyway, there you go. There's some uh, layer tricks for you to uh, get your head around and we'll see you on the next tutorial.